Chainsaws have a what? Hey team, if your chainsaw is not running as well as you think it should, check your spark arrestor. What's that I hear you say? Well check it out. It could be located here, here, or here, depending on your make and model of saw. But it's most likely gonna be somewhere on your exhaust. Let's get into it. Hey team, Bang is here again, and today we're talking spark arresters. So on almost all chainsaws, all decent model chainsaws, there's a spark arrestor. What's that I hear you say? It's a small mesh plate, if you will, or a small piece of mesh that slipped into the very last part, the exhaust port, uh, on your muffler of the exhaust of your chainsaw that stops any exhaust flames or sparks coming out of your engine th from the exhaust because your engine's going to run pretty hot. So many chainsaws have these and they're generally just located on a, on a external part of the muffler. So you can see here on this chainsaw, this is an MS280C, really great chainsaw. Okay, and here it is located on the top right hand side of the exhaust manifold. Now, if your saw is a little bit boggy, and you think, ah, oh, it's just not going, I've adjusted the carby, I've done a bunch of different stuff. Hands down, this thing can be blocked. And that, that, and that can be one of the things that causes your engine to be a bit boggy and a bit doughy. When you're trying to, especially down low, when you're trying to get that response out of it. And, and also at the high end. And that's because the exhaust, yeah, these are only small engines, that the exhaust is trying to get out and get away as quick as it can so you can get that thing really, really rung up. Air in, air out. If that's blocked, it's not gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna get in here and give you a close up. So mostly on the still models, these are a Torx 20, I believe. So yep, there you go, Torx 20. And you can also get them, the still engineers are pretty good. They'll give you the option to use a flat blade screwdriver as well. Some models, they're behind a plate that has the, on the smaller models, they, it's held behind the two bolts that hold the exhaust on to the engine block also hold that screen on. So don't be afraid to take those nuts off and you'll find that little screen, take it off. So, so here's a close up of that screen plate. Here's the screw holding the screen in. So we're just going to take that screen out. We're gonna unwind that screw. We're going to unwind that screw that's there and we're just going to gently coax the plate out and sometimes the plate is the is the rest of it is the screen itself so there you go there's the screen now this one you can see in the background it's quite i cleaned it out the other day it's quite good some of them if this is black and not and not see-through that's one of your main problems. You need to clean that out. You need to give it a wire brush, uh, clean it out with a cloth, blow some air through it. You can put a bit of solvent on there. Just make sure it's cleaned out and make sure it's see-through like that. If there's any holes in it, I recommend you replace it. So then it's as easy as slipping it back in where it came from. Slip it back in there, get your screw, replace the screw like this. Get that in there like that. It's gonna, these screws are generally, they're a bit rusty because it's they're heating up, cooling down, heating up, cooling down. Uh, and there you go. That's removing and checking that screen on an MS-280C. So here's another example on this MS-180. It's a smaller model, so it's incorporated into the exhaust. There's a plate here, and in behind that is the screen. So you need to take these nuts off to take that plate off to get to the screen. Okay, it's just not that difficult. And on one of my favorite saws, the MS311 Farm Boss, it's tucked up in here, right up in the back here, just up in here like this, tucked in up in here. So there it is up in here, right at the back of the exhaust. So again, we're in here with our Torx bit, undo that screw, just like that, get it all the way out. Sometimes we need the help of a flat blade here to get it out, beautiful. And then we just gently coax that out. Gently coax that out with the flat blade. There she comes. There you go. So there's your screen on the MS311. Nice and clean. You can see it see-through there, perfect. Once we know it's good, 
Slip it back in, replace the screw. Easier said than done sometimes. Do your screw up. There you have it. So there you go. Exhaust screens. If your chainsaw's not running quite how you th think it should, it's a little bit boggy, it's a little bit doughy, check your exhaust screen first. I reckon that might be one of the issues. Happy chopping. I didn't know that was in there, I hear you say. Yeah, not many people do. That's why I'm here for you.